Hi, I'm Jan with MakeItBooks.com and I'd like to share with you today how I prepare my plush toys to be sent in for, to Amazon for FBA reselling. Uh, I'm going to start with this little plush Ernie right here and I want to sh show you that sometimes when you get them, their, little, their hair and their top hair and stuff doesn't look the greatest, but I've got a little kind of comb thing here that I picked up at the grocery store that you can use to kind of pull some of the little fuzzes out and make it look cute again. Okay? Always look them over really carefully and make sure that they are clean and ready to go. He's one that because he doesn't have a lot of extra stuff on him, if he was really dirty or dusty, I could toss him in the washing machine with some um, a soap that has no, I would use one that has no fragrance or color in it. I, I happen to use uh, all. I love those little pouches that they have. But I wait and I put a group of them together and maybe put a couple towels in at the same time. Get them all nice and clean and then I tumble them dry. Um, but he doesn't really look like he needs that. Another one I have here is a an Elmo and he has a little voice box in him that he, he talks and stuff and one of the nice things is is that he's made to where to where his voice box comes out it's tied in with some strings and so you can reach in take it out untie well, untie it and take it out and then he can go in the washing machine as well if you need to clean him up more but most of the time, they don't need that much. I can go in, use a damp cloth, and kind of wipe him down, check him. I always like to check his eyes, because he's got those big white eyes, if they've got anything on them. If, it's, if there is some, some dirt and things, you don't think he looks really good, this one happens to have cloth eyes. I can spray with a uh, stain cleaner. I like to use the OxyClean, spray him good. You don't want to put too much on, but spray it, and then uh, you can spray any place that you've got some kind of dirt that you're afraid won't come out with just regular washing, and then he can be tossed in the laundry, in the wash. Then when he comes out, or while he's in there, you can check his battery box, make sure that um, it's clean and doesn't have any uh, battery corrosion on it. Uh, if it does have battery corrosion on it, what I've found to use is either alcohol and a cotton swab, or vinegar in a cotton swab and I can clean it very carefully let it air dry and then try it with batteries and I've not had any problem with it not working I try to make sure that I get it as clean as possible before I try you want those contacts to be good and clean before you try to put a battery in it um, but then you can retie it how, however it was done to begin with this one has just a little plastic loop through here if I can get it in there, there we go, put it in, and then you want to get it back into the box the same way that you took it out so that um, whatever the little gizmo is that makes him go, which is this thing at the top, uh, will still work or still be in a good place for to be pushed. So stick him in like that and his little box goes like that. Then you can close it up. We like to put fresh batteries in when we sell it so that the children can play with it right away and don't have to wait for mom and dad to find them or have to go to the store and buy them. And so a lot of times we'll pack up the little batteries and just put them right back in here underneath so that they can find them as soon as they open it up. Okay, so he's ready to go. If sometimes they have on the little fur it has like a spot that sticks out like that. You can take your scissor and trim it down to where it matches the rest of it and then you never know that it had that. Sometimes that happens when you uh, it's at a seam or something. So now he's all ready to go. This little guy right here um, he has similar eyes but his are plastic. You have to be careful with plastic eyes if you try to put it in a dish in the washing machine we can't put this one in the washing machine because it has a box that won't come out. Okay, but um, we can clean them up with a cloth 
if it's got some little marks or something on it, you can use a little bit of orange oil on it or that's real good cleaner. And um, there's just, you know, like your Windex, things like that will we'll clean it up good. Also, if there's any little marks in the uh, pupil area, the black, you can use a Sharpie marker to go over it. Uh, of course, you want to be real careful, but go over it and it makes it uh, to where you can't even see those marks anymore. It looks good as new. Okay, so he's all cleaned up and he's ready to go. If I'm concerned about how he smells or something, I can spray a little bit of a uh, Febreze. I don't like to use the ones that have a particular fragrance. I use, this is one that support, it says Extreme Odor Eliminator. Okay, uh, but it doesn't like have a fruit smell or anything like that. You don't want to use that kind of thing on there. Um, and um, I can use a disinfectant spray on it also. This little guy, he's also got a voice box. We do like to sell the ones that have the little voice boxes and the different things in them because they do bring a lot more, uh, uh, a lot higher price uh, point to them rather than just the, the squishy stuffed animals. Squishy stuffed animals are good, but these bring more money. Uh, he's got a little more dirt on him. So not only do I need to clean it, be sure and clean his ears real good, but he's just got some general dirt that I need to get off. If he's got a spot, I have this pen called Tide to Go, and I can take it, use it in the wherever it, it seems to have a have a spot, and then I can go over it again with my cloth towel. That's, that's damp. It's a damp towel. And that will usually get a lot of that out. Okay? And then he's good to go. Okay? I like to get them all clean and make sure that they look good before I try to do any listing. or um, And I like to list before we put them in a plastic bag because um, if you have any questions or need to remeasure or anything, you've got, you don't have to open up the bag again and, and redo it. We've had to do that many a time. Another good item to have around is uh, a lint roller. It does a good job of getting little extra threads and things that they pick up in those bins. Um, but it makes them look nice and clean. There. I hope this helps you prepare your plush toys to go to Amazon. It's a lot easier than, it, than you think.